Welcome guys, uh, today I'll try to uh, describe you uh, what I'm gonna be doing in in the future in this channel and this video is mostly about people who just like started their own adventure with BMW engine or any BMW or any car maybe different I don't know and many people is uh, contacting me not only about oil burning but mostly about rough idle misfiring and engine vibrations so this video is like a introduction to few videos I'm gonna be making about this problem if you are a new owner and you following forums and other people like saying oh, I changed spark plugs, I did uh, coils, I did CCV valve, I did this and that and the car is still like rough on idle or doesn't perform properly I changed uh, auto sensors I don't recommend changing that I'll explain you what, uh, on these videos uh, how to diagnose, how to check and what to do so this video is based on my knowledge probably others as well the, the most important and the basic uh, test to do before you start replacing something is to do leak down test which I did already on two other videos but I didn't mention that because I want to start few new videos about how to how to understand the car uh, the systems fuel system uh, intake system ignition system so if you're starting an adventure I recommend you to do not the compression test but the leak down test. Compression test is just to show you if you have any compression or how much of that compression but it won't tell you where the compression loss is actually occurring. From my experience I will tell you now uh, I had worn piston rings, oil piston rings, also compression rings as well doing compression test uh, each time the readings was brilliant like a new car but how why if I replace the rings and I checked and they were actually warm simply because if you have worn piston rings and, and uh, especially oil rings the oil will pass through the rings and will actually seal the uh, piston against the cylinder so each time you cranking an engine the piston will be sealed properly with the oil and each time you're doing this you're gonna have brilliant readings but uh, it's still gonna be burning oil so how many times I'm reading on the forum that oh I did the compression test but the car's still burning oil so it must be something else no that's why because the oil is sealing the piston that's why I recommend doing lead down test only how to do it you can uh, uh, browse my uh, channel you can see two videos about how to do it and especially how to do it in a straight six engine because it, it might be difficult to uh, to judge so please visit my uh, um, channel and you can see these two videos how to do it so this is like quick uh, introduction to a few more videos I'm gonna be doing it's gonna be I will try to do the best guide uh, for E46 or any car how to start without advanced tool how to check some things rather than replacing stuff replacing replacing and ending up with the same problem so if you're starting to diagnose your car to fix it do the leak down test first if you can't do it yourself ask somebody to help you or uh, leave it for mechanic and he will tell you if you have small leak on every cylinder that's normal where if you have big leak on one of the cylinders there's a problem with one of the cylinders and he will tell you where the um, the air the compression is is lost is it valve intake valve exhaust valve is it head gasket or are the piston rings uh, bad or not so uh, 
yeah that will be it for now please stay and watch uh, in the future it will be soon very soon I will probably start with the uh, uh, fuel system uh, later intake ignition to help you guys understand how stuff works and what kind of sim symptoms you're gonna get if the part is failing or the system is failing so uh, that's it for now i hope you stay and enjoy see you next time